Hello everyone, we are going to solve problem 129 of chapter 2. Determine the magnitude of the projected component of the 3 kN force acting along the axis BC of the pipe. So the question is asking for the projected magnitude of the, this force along BC. We want to find the projected component along this, this line. So that's one of the application of a dot product. If you want to find F, B, C, that would be force F, dot product, the unit vector of B, C. But in this problem, I do not have the force F in a vector form. I only have the magnitude. So for my first task is to find force F in a vector form. It's finding force F in a vector form, if I have the magnitude, I just need to multiply it by its corresponding unit vector. So that would be three unit vector is from C to D. So that's where force F is pointed at, UCD. So I need to find UCD and also I need to find UBC. So for this problem, I need to find two unit vectors. What is the unit vector? The position vector divided by its magnitude. What is the position vector? It is based on the coordinates. So I need the coordinate of B, the coordinate of C, and the coordinate of D. Sometimes I uh, write the position vector directly. Sometimes it's easier to write the coordinate. At the beginning, I will recommend you to write the coordinates, and by the time then you, you get familiar with position vector, you could uh, directly write the position vector. Three, four, negative one, and then D would be eight, zero, zero. So you wanna find RCD. which means that the coordinate of D minus the coordinate of C, so the coordinate of D minus the coordinate of C, so eight minus three I, zero minus four J, and zero minus negative one K. So that gives me five I, negative four J, and positive K. The unit system that I'm using is meter. So I found the unit vector, the position vector, I can find the unit vector. So UCD is simply RCD divided by its magnitude. I need to divide this vector by its magnitude. So five divided by the magnitude, four divided by, by the magnitude of the vector, and one divided by the magnitude. So that would be Five squared, 25 plus 16 uh, plus one, which gives me a square root of 42. So that would be five square root of 42. I negative four square root of 42 J and one, so just write K square root of 42. That's the unit vector. The unit vector does not have any unit. So that's UCD. So I found one of the unit vectors that I was looking for. The next unit vector that I need to find is UBC. And again, unit vector is the position vector divided by its magnitude. So I need to find RBC first. So RBC means the position coordinate of C minus B, so that would be three minus zero, four minus zero, negative one minus zero. So it's just the coordinate of C. So that would be three I, four J, and negative. And the unit vector would be this vector divided by its magnitude. And the magnitude would be a square root of nine, 16, and one. So you, BC would be three divided by its magnitude, which would be which would be twenty six square root of twenty six plus four 
square root of 26 j negative can be the square root of 26. So now that I found the other unit vector, here I can simply uh, uh, multiply it by, uh, I can find the projection of my force along BC. But first I need to find a force F in a vector form. This, I just need to multiply it by three. That's a scalar multiplication with the vector. So force F, all right, force F, just three, uh, e from T, e. so that would be 15, a square root of 42, I negative 12 J plus 3 to 42 K. And here, because I multiplied by force, now I have the unit, it's two Newton, so it's no longer uh, unit plus. So the next step is to have a dot product of vector f with the unit vector bc. I have force f in a vector form. I need to multiply it. I need to have a dot product with unit vector bc. And I found unit vector uh, bc. So here, f, force f. BC power component, it would be force F dot product UBC. I have the two vectors, so it would be a simple uh, dot product. Like here, if you look at two components, 15 over a square root of 42 times 3 over a square root of 26. Plus, then the next component would be negative 12, square root of 42, 4, square root of 26, plus uh, 3, square root of 42, and then times negative 1, square root of 26. That's FBC. So this will give me one value for FBC. I get a negative value of 1.82 kilonewton. Can you tell me why I got a negative value? Because the force F is gonna have a projection in a negative direction of BC. It would be from C to B. So if you wanna find a projection of along BC and we write our unit vector from B to C, the results that we find would be negative. If the question was asking for finding uh, the fourth three kilonewton along the axis CB from C to B, our unit vector was from C to B and then the value that we, uh, we would have found would be uh, positive. So that's where uh, the value comes from. But because it's magnitude, if you want to write it in a magnitude form uh, and the direction really of the matter in a magnitude form, then what would be 0.182 uh, kilometers. So you can see in a lot of problems, this position vector and unit vector are very important and we are going to keep using them. So it's very important to be comfortable with finding the unit vector and position vectors. If you're not comfortable writing the position vector directly, you could write the coordinate. And the more you look at 3D problems, the better you're gonna be at it. Probably the very first few problems, you have uh, problems finding the coordinate, but you will uh, definitely get used to it and uh, can write the position vector directly.